pure coconut water. And I, 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 don't, I think it's the one from, from it's the one from me. Well, whatever, coconut water. Whatever, let me put it, let me put it, let me put it here like that. Uh, put the cap back on, which is whatever, but it's pure coconut water. You know this brown now? They try to put some leaching in it and strawberry. I'm going like, oh, man, what's the with these people, man? I want pure coconut water. Ah, the, oh, hey, oh, my, excuse me, oh. Hey, Internet, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the trench to bed, talking through the Instagram. Okay, this this might be a long one, because I got to, let me put it this way, it's a it's a Tuesday, it's a Tuesday, well, right now we're, I'm in, uh, where am I, in Gambazo, uh, and uh, what what time is it, it's about 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock? Uh, 25 past 12. 25 past who? 11, we'll go 10, 25 past 10. 10, okay, that means we're... We're seven hours ahead of the state. So people are just sort of getting up. So you'll be going to the polls pretty soon. I think the polls, open, at least on the East Coast, open at 6 o'clock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the elections for a little bit. Then I'm going to transition, talk to some, some, some South African reality since we're here. And I have my trusty cameraman here. That's how come it's not backwards. See, it's like... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> um, so let me first by saying... Um, my thing, I'll be traveling so, uh, This is my passport. I always keep it in a in a, in a thing, in a, in a classic thing when I'm traveling, you know. Um, but I show you his passport. Oh, well, I show you his passport. See, and now he says it's America. Because let me fully identify myself. I'm an American African made in the Mont Haven section of the Bronx. Did you say American African? Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> I did not say African American. Now remember, here's the beautiful thing about being being, being, being a, a black, black in America, black Americans. Lineage has lineage going back to you know when they stole it from Africa, you know blah, 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 all that stuff. Like, is that we change all the time? <laughs> first they start calling us first. First, well, we were African. Well, Af we, won't, we won't quibble about the African name, but we Africans stolen from Africa, right? And then they renamed us when we got here. Uh, Negros or whatever it is, or Negri whatever they call us, and of course it means black, whatever it is, like that. And then we hold that moniker for a while, you know. You know so we were like uh, uh, ne Negroes. A lot of a lot of those slave posters you see, they say uh, so many Negroes for sale, blah 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 blah, blah. or Africans. So, so back then they had that. And then at some particular point, when when when, when the uh, institution of slavery, and the slave got really hold on, then they started, or after they started calling us colored, or we started calling ourselves colored, so it was colored, so we got to, then we changed, plus all the other derogative names they, they call you, right, then we changed somewhere, and finally we became, I don't know, black, I guess, and then, but we always, no matter what we are, we always black, that's the underlying thing, right, that's from a, a what the move, what's that move, I'm here, that's how here, this bloody, the head cameraman, right, that, so I'll be talking to him back and forth, as I talk to you, isn't that interesting? It's a different kind of yeah. posting today. Okay. So uh, then, then we got to the 60s, then we, then we became Afro-Americans, um, uh, yeah, Afro-Americans, then we became African-Americans with a hyphen, then African-Americans, no hyphens, right? But they, but, cause we always were, we, we could, it was perpetrated really by the uh, black nationalists. They wanted to say, Africa first, we're Africans. Before we were, we're Africans. I said, okay, I got you. But the thing is, not the but the thing is, I say American African. Now it's not an original term for me. I heard this guy on, on the on the on the TikTok or something like that. One of those one of those things like that. He said, "No people, you know, you, you, the the for instance, we're in, we're in South Africa. So you so Mr. Lully, you would be if you came to you are basically a South African African." I know that sounds kind of strange, but that's not my fault. Y'all, y'all, y'all want to keep your little name. We're South African. We're proudly South African. We're born in freeze. Whatever, whatever we all are. Stupid. I'm sorry, not stupid. You should need. To, you're trying to rename all these these places. Like, like King is a new name. Uh, 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 King Williamstown. That's where Deco's from. Uh, uh, well, he's from North Park, Kingsbury, but same area. You got Port Elizabeth changed their name or something like that. You want to change all the name? You need to change the name of the country. And we'll get to put a pin in that. I'll explain to that later, right? Okay. So anyway, so what, what this means for me is that I'm an American. I travel as an American. This is a this is sort of a valuable thing. Like for instance, I'm going to India right now. Well, right now, in January. 
when I go to India and I got to exchange money, they respect. I got to use always a passport because you want to, you know, if, if I, the difference is that you should travel, people will travel, you should travel with $100 bills, not a whole lot. So, so when you get into this situation in the black market, you always take a $100 bill and change it and get the local currency like that. But no matter what you do, like when I go this time, I'm not, I, since I'm not coming from the States, I won't have $100 bills. But what I'll do is I'll take my the RAND money when I get to exchange at the airport because I have the, or my passport, you know, I have the, uh, my, uh, so you have my relationship visa like that and my visa in there. What I'll do is I'll go to the exchange right there and I have my, my rands. I need to change this to rupees for, for the Indian money and they'll do it because they know da 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 and they'll go to India and like that. So anyway, so I'm an American first flag and all that stuff, right? African, made in the Mount Haven section of the Bronx. That's going to be, so I'm, I'm made in South, so my lineage starts not starts but ends say in the bronx okay but it starts go, it goes back further from there so for instance on my maternal side you know uh my great grandfather was Gullah Geechee. my great grandmother was mofok indian you see so i have that in in, in 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 my thing okay so and then of course before then you know a lot of, a lot of, a lot of geese, west africa you know Congo, whatever where, wherever it goes back there like that okay that's for another day we'll talk about another day but so i'm american uh, African. When I say American African, African is my mentality. I that's the mentality that that that. So so my nationality. What I, I travel as an American, but my, my mentality, which you can't see, is African. Okay. And if you want to really get down to well, how are you informed? I'm informed by my 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 the rearing of my rearing in the South Bronx, which that's why the Mount Haven section of the Bronx comes in handy. My Haven sections in the Bronx, Patterson projects, blah blah blah. Okay, so uh, this is coconut water. I said, at that time, my wife gave me this for my seventy third birthday. Right, I'm seventy four now. I'll be seventy five next year. Okay. So, so okay, so, so so we have all that straight. So this, what I'm trying to say, that gives me bonus. Uh, that means I can comment on the American. Life. Well, brother, you know, did you vote? I should have voted earlier. Well, here's what happened. I'm gonna tell you what had happened. I was supposed to come to the United States because I wanted to be there because I love to go vote, vote for real, right? And I wanted to write in, I'll, I'll tell you that in a second also. But even I had a thing that I could be a poll worker. I, I applied for when I was there for a poll worker so I could probably work in the polls, which let me give you a little hint. You know, they're letting all these people over the border. They da, da, da. Well, a lot of times when new, new people come in, they want to do something. They become poll workers. They become in the process so they can see what's going on for another thing. If you are an American African and you 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 just getting hip to the political thing, thing, political scene, that you should take part in local local politics, including you can be a poll watcher, you know, and, and that gives you a lot of insight. And you'll be meeting other people of your mentality, and so it's really interesting. It's a good thing to do. And then you say, well, that means I have to register. I, I, I might they get me pick me for jury duty. Well, duh, if you're an American African, you need to do jury duty. All them black, you, think, you think them brothers get locked up because they're, not because they're black, but because they ain't got no, no, no juries that will acquit them. In fact, let me give you, a, 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 I got the brother's name. I got the brother's name. Oh, what's his name? I'll, maybe I'll put it in notes. You know the, uh, the, 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 the Panthers, the New York Panthers, New York, the, uh, the, the Panther 21, you know, Daruba bin Wahad, uh, 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 Sada Shakur's mother was in that unit. Anyway, they, they had a trial in New York and they got acquitted. The jury was mainly white, but the jury foreman, I met him, that, because he told me that they had back and forth. And because the jury foreman was this guy who, he was an artist, an artist, he was a musician. So I, I, he wrote this really incredible, um, what do you call it, uh, uh, opera. That it wasn't published. I, I guess somebody still had uh, this is a long time ago, so he's probably passed by now. I don't know. But the guy was because the reason why he was on the jury because he was out of the country most of the time. So when he came in, they put him on the jury. He became the foreman of the jury, and because of him, that's how the Panther Twenty One in New York got acquitted. So what I'm trying to say for all you people, I'm not going. I don't want to do jury duty. And look, if you don't want to do jury duty, then just be honest. You know, like say for instance, say for instance, if you're uh, uh, Israel. Uh, a Hebrew Israel, Israelite Israel. if you as if you are some religious thing you don't want to you just go there or you some revolution revolutionary like like for instance uh, if you're uh, uh, where's, where's my other card oh I'll show you this 
if you caught a, the Uhuru movement, you know, it's now put people's uh, democracy, Uhuru movement, right? Yeah, I was a member until uh, 2003. Well, we got this in the 90s. So anyway, but, and you say, oh, we, we don't believe they, well, when you, I don't want to say do jury, you go to, you can go to the jury, do you know, when, the, when they ask you questions and stuff like that, say, well, yeah, I don't, this system needs to be, da, 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 da. you can espouse your thing, and, and believe me, they won't, they don't want you on the jury. <laughs> So you could use it in your favor. Let's put it that way. Okay. So we'll cover that all again. Okay. So. So I could. I. I. I'm not there. So I'm not. I'm not. I'm not voting. Right. But where? If I was going to be there, then here's what I would do. I'm. A, uh, my. I only have two. Uh, two issues. Um, that I. Things I'm interested in that would that should be on somebody's platform. That's reparations lineage reparations, and uh, no wars, war, I'm against war, okay? So the only, the only, uh, look at the major parties, and uh, maybe the, 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 the party articula articulates, but they, 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 they put it in their platform, is the Green Party. So the Green Party, they, 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 they said, well, before reparations, they have to sort of suss that out because, uh, whatever it is. And they are also, no war, you know, no uh, imperialist war, whatever they, whatever they call kind of what they do. That we, we have here, so I would vote for them so I can get my reparation rule or in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an established party that their party. I'll get to that in a second, and then us, us place on that ballot. I would just write in reparations, Lydia's reparations, one place and someplace else. I would write in uh, uh, no wars, right? You say, Well, that I was talking to a uh, professor, uh, the Black Authority, you know, uh, Jason Black on, on the on, on, on the Zoom. You know, I called to the show, and he said, "Yeah, but nobody sees the the, the writings." You know, with the, my idea for the writing was that a hundred years from now, when somebody's doing some research, whatever, they can look in the rolls and say there was a lot of people that wrote in lineage reparations. But because, but like, but that's for me, right? But to be counted in the regular thingy, whatever it is, I vote for the Green Party because they have my interest. If you vote for a Republican Democrat. Domestically, you all do what you want to do. But my problem is I'm an internationalist. So both of those people, the Democrat, the Republicans, they all have the same, you know, uh, international okay. like that, you know, exploiting Africa, blah, 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 blah. So I can't vote for either one of them. So I put, I would put the Green, I would put the Green Party, right? So that's how I would vote. Now, let me tell you what's going to happen. Hey, but I was supposed to speak today, but they, they, it's raining so hard they, they, they cancel. I was supposed to be, speak to uh, members of, of the, the new MK party today. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what I would tell them. They would, of course, they were going to ask me about the election. And here's what I would say. I said, you have to understand. Let's go back with Barack Obama. Barack Obama, he, 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 uh, his mother took him, he basically, he, his, his grade school, uh, early, early, early thing, was in Indonesia with his stepfather, whatever you call it, Saturo. Yeah, uh, the, 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 whatever that Saturo guy who basically uh, uh, was a, was a, was a they, they call him a CIA as, asset, but he could have been that, but also he was working for the, for the oil companies back then because Indonesia was a big oil thing, right? So, so basically his mother, his mother was an anthropologist. This is why it's has suspect because back, back then, back from the early, from the turn of the century, Right up, well, I guess the CIA really didn't get it to after World War II. But what they would do is they would go and get an anthropologist to look to look at an area and get and debrief the anthropologist and get all information like that. It's like before when you, you know when missionaries came to Africa, that's what they used to do. You know, the missionaries would write back to the, to the Pope or whatever. Hey, this is land like this, and then then the military would see that, and then they would come in and and deal with the area. You know, okay. So, so I sus I suspect <laughs> that uh, Barry Satoru or Barack Barack Hussein Obama, uh, raised by a CIA asset, and the the, the stepfather uh, is in the pockets of, of, of a capitalist or whatever it is. So he's groomed he's groomed like that. That's you know you are what you start start to be. Then he goes to Hawaii, and that's a whole other thing with military base or whatever. So so, so I just leave him alone for a second. Because this, this election has everything to do with him because, well, he put his fingers on the scale and, and got what we got now. That's how we got Joe Biden. That's how we got what we got now. Now, Kamala, 
Paris. She, by all accounts, when you see, we think, some of us think that she was MK Ultra. MK Ultra is a CIA program where they scramble your brains. You know, they try to brainwash you, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at her demeanor and everything like that, something's off about this woman. I mean, it's really, really off about this woman. And I suspect MK Ultra, just to, the, the, the most famous MK Ultra uh, thing, you know, is Charlie, Charles Manson, who, who, uh, who did the, the, the murders of the celebrities, Sharon Tate, whatever have you. So he was MK Ultra. Right? So I'm saying that her mother, Kamala Harris's mother, who uh, uh, was working in this uh, place in, uh, in, in Montreal, and they would, uh, and, and they, who's, somebody's waving, who is it? Who's, who's waving? Tandy is waving. Tandy, hey, welcome in. Okay, so, uh, 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 so, so, so his mother, uh, rather, Kamala Harris's mother, now the father had already left, you know what I mean? Uh, the, the Harris, well, he had already left. The whole Jamaican thing and the uh, part, part Irish, part whatever, whatever, whatever. So let's leave him out of it right now. Because she's running around with two young young children, right? And she's got this appointment in uh, in Montreal, Canada, where MK Ultra was was based. They wouldn't have it on American soil, so it was between. Um, uh, uh, and, and, and it's all based on a lot of the work of Sigmund Freud. I got this a lot of stuff from, from Candace Owen, who's doing an interesting series. People say, Candace, we don't listen to Candace. So you're all, Look, you get the information where you get the information. You get from here, you get something from here. You put it together, and that's how it comes to your own conclusions. Back to the point. So, so she's uh, so, so 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 by day, she's up there, you know, working with women and children in this MK Ultra kind of thing. Comes home, and she's got two young children. So, so you know, that stuff doesn't leave you. So, so basically, she's MK. Uh, I'm talking about uh, uh, Harris. Uh, what do you call that? What's that woman? Uh, 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 Kamala Harris, right? She, then by all accounts, as she comes from, from Canada, you know, born in Oakland, she comes from, she, she's a, a, a reared in Canada, right? Then she comes back and she, why does she go to Howard? Wait a second, you got some money? Whatever it was, well, well, she went to Howard, right? So we think it's a whole plot that she was going to Howard to get her, how do I say, her black bona fides. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Anyway, she goes to Howard, she comes out, she's a, a uh, it's, it, look, when you in, in certain circles, academic circles as well as political circles, you don't have to be a stunning woman. You just have to have a good shape and an all right face. You know, you don't have to be incredibly beautiful like some sort of movie star, and people will pay attention to you. So, so Kamala Harris becomes a side chick to the, to, uh, to 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 Willie Brown, who becomes mayor of of, of uh, well, San Francisco, and she gets and she works well. Before she did that, she did a little community thing, and she went. Basically, was was doing the community thing. She was uh, almost like her, like her daddy doing the, doing the community thing. But at some particular point, she went over to the other side, <laughs> you know, to, to to repressive side, you know, uh, locking up black men and blah blah blah. So that's 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 Kamala. Okay. So I'm trying to say, uh, Barack Obama. Let's call him M MK Ultra uh, uh, One, and then. We have, you have Kamala Harris, who is MK Ultra 1.5. I want to give it 2.0, I don't know, 1.5. So you have two MK Ultra people. In fact, if you try to look at their backgrounds, you see a lot of the stuff you see is kind of suspect, okay? So now, so it's a, then the Barack Obama, for some inexplicable reason, he gets everybody on his side, he's got this whole thing going, we're going to take over the Democrat Party, you know, like that. And then, but he all the, the 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 data, all the phone numbers, all the emails, he just hands it over to the DNC. He he could have upheaval. He could have been upheaval in the Democrat Party. Could have been, but no, because and then what does he does the whole time he's 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 in the thing. He does the bidding of the DNC. You know, it's almost like uh, uh that's AOC woman, you know, the, the 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 Bronx Queens woman. You know, she's gone full. She she was she came in on a. Uh, or, the, or one powerful song before the people, and then she ends up, you know, sell out, you know, go to the Democrat Party. All about money, to tell you the truth. Anyway, so the point is, we had this, this and, and, and the interesting thing about, about uh, Barack Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, and Kamala Harris, does he have a middle name? I don't think so. Kamala Harris, I guess she has, she has a married name, whatever her married name is. They, uh, 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 they're of the same cloth, is what I'm trying to say, okay? So it's a through line. You, we 
we're being juked. <laughs> Let's put it that way. We're in a football season. We're being juked. But don't believe me. But that's why I, if, I, if I'm voting, if I was to vote, then I would write in. Rather, I would vote for the Green Party and would write, I would write in my two things because that's a personal thing. The Green Party thing is an official thing. And so that's that. That's how I would vote. Now, who's going to win? This is what's really interesting. I tell people all the time, you, black people, I'm talking about United, when I say black people, I'm saying United States, you know, American Africans. We, we, we don't, we don't start no fights. We don't, you know, we don't pick no fights. Everybody wants to pick on us. We say, look, leave us alone. We, we, we had the whole thing with Black Wall Street, you know, and they come and try to rip us down. Every time, they, they're always, we're always, they're trying to, it's, 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 a, it's insane to me. Leave us alone. Hey, why are you keep on messing with black people? And now they said, well, I guess we, we, we hold the votes, the power. But now we just last bit of push with Kamala Harris and, and even with, with, with the Biden team, the, 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 I mean, the Trump team, you know, everybody wants the, the black vote. Actually, to tell you the truth, Trump is kind of interesting. There's this thing, um, it's a theory that I have. It's like, if you want your, if you want your movement to, keep, to get going, Black people have to voluntarily come to you. You can request, but they have to voluntarily. You can't try to force them to do, do what they do. And uh, I won't get into Michelle McGraw. Too many love Michelle McGraw, but she's suspect too. I won't get into her right now. Okay. So what I'm saying is this. Black people on their own for the last two years, they say, what's going on? You know, Obama for, four, for eight years didn't give us diddly, and then he keep on saying that. And every time he talked to us, he talked down to us. You know, chastise us, whatever. whatever. And now Michelle's got her on board. In fact, even if you listen to stuff that she said chastising black people a couple of weeks ago, that if you listen to what her speech is, she sounds just like Barack. Chastising. They talk down to us. They don't talk down to no other group. But for black people, they talk down to us. So they, I think black people who are spiritual, we're spiritual people. We feel it now it's sort of percolate. We feel some sort of, So you have the, uh, a, a group, a, 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 a B1 Brigade, shout out B1 Brigade. They, they, uh, they, they're just gonna sit out. We ain't, we ain't participating in this election, right? Like I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, whatever. And then you have other people who are not gonna vote for, for, vote for the blue. They're gonna be, that's the, they may, may vote for Trump. And there's another people that they both see will vote for Green Party, right? So anyway, so this is gonna be a very interesting thing. But I, here's my, yeah, so, so that's, that's what's happening. I paid attention to Donald Trump when he first came in, and I swear to you. I, for, for the most for the most, most part, but he's a racist. He's that. I said, if you look at her first, his first term, he didn't say nothing against black people, really. In fact, he said some for black people. He, he, at one point, he said he it was a he had young young black Republicans or something. He said, you know, y'all built this country, but he said that. I remember he said that because when he said that, there was a was the second a ADOS conference or was it first? Whenever it was the ADOS conference, I was at the ADOS conference and I got the, and I found it. On the, he had just done it. And I said, oh, this is interesting. And ADOS is American descendant of, of, of slavery, or, like, or, or, or what I like to say, a North American descendant of chattel slavery, to be more specific, slavery the institution. So, yeah, I like to think so, I can remember that. So, so I'm going like, so he did that. He pardoned Jack Johnson. You know, the boxer that was holding, the, was Judge Joe Brown was talking about the Man Act, and how they, they, made this, they made a law especially against a black man permeates everybody and you know it's like wait a second he pardoned Jack Johnson but didn't he serve after Barack how come Barack Obama didn't, didn't, didn't pardon Jack Johnson Barack Obama's into sports well maybe it's not the same but Barack Obama into basketball the only thing he did with the basketball thing after he came out they, with the basketball players wanted to protest the, the, the uh, you know, uh, George Floyd and whatever is going to shut down the league Barack Obama said well you know you all you know, shouldn't do that he stopped, and of course LeBron James, who's he's scrambled brain too. For us. Well, I'm just gonna say that well, people love Obama. I'm sorry, I don't want to call no no way. Please, I don't want to call anybody no name. But LeBron told people, yeah, we should do what Barack said. And he said that way. I'm, I'm 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 paraphrasing. And so here we got the Barack Obama MK Ultra, the bidding of the state, if you want to put it that way, to involve right. So anyway, so now a lot of a lot of folks they're going like. No, we, we ain't we, we ain't rocking with this this Harris woman. She's something's off about her, right? And so that's where it stands. But here's the thing. Here's the thing I find so fascinating, right? Uh, 
when, when that, that January 16th, um, one year they had this whole, uh, the, they stormed the Capitol, you know, like that. And, uh, of course, you know, it's their government they want to change. They say, no, you, you stole the election or whatever happened. I happened to be in a barbershop in Virginia at the time, right? And they happened to, when the news things came on. And you see all these black men, are there, yeah, they're storming our Capitol. Oh, they're looking up, the, 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 the Trump people, blah, 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 blah. This was like, yeah, whenever it was four years ago, I guess, or whatever, or three and a half years, whenever it was. And I'm sitting there, well, I, was like, I wanted to say something. I said, well, no, there's too many black men here. If I say, no, nah, blah, 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 blah. But if you think, if you think this is your country, you're black, you, this is our country, it is your country, right? But here's the trick. You are, the, you have to ask yourself, are you, is, is your, are you acting like what we call a house slave? Our house, oh, we got to fix our house. Because everybody, everybody I've seen, the whole landscape, they don't want to tear the system down. They want, they want to improve the system. They, 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 they want to reform America. They want to put America on the right thing. Well, America is America. You, and, and we, we're going to be involved. With, we're going to elect these people. We're going to change America for the better of everybody. Blah, blah, blah. Well, no, I'm sorry. It don't work like that. You got, as, as, we, as, as I say, as we say here in, 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 uh, in South Carolina, you, you, you got to tear the whole thing up. You got to, you got to get rid of the system. But, but I'm, a, I'm going good on the capitalist system. Sorry, <laughs> capital. The logical end of capitalism is, uh, well, it's, it's slavery. The logical end of socialism is, it's still an ism that, uh, that, that there's people on top, people in charge. You, you look for idols, whatever. Else. That's wrong too. You say, well, brother, what are you talking about? Who are you? What, aren't, aren't you a Democrat or a Democrat? Uh, don't you believe in democracy? No, I don't understand. It's still their system. The colonizer put these, and every time you even go against what the colonizer said, you're, you're, you're reacting to their colon, to the colonizers, what he put in place. So they still got you in their loop. You on the hamster wheel. What I am is I'm what's called a, a communalist. A communalist. I believe in the community. So any uh, 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 system economic system put in place has to be community. The community has to agree with that. But more on that some other time. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna sort of leave it there. Now we gotta move on. Uh, here's what we're gonna do now. This is gonna be really bad. Not bad. I don't know. It's good for me. I don't know. I'm sitting in South Africa. There was an election here. And they they, they there's a there was a um, it's a party called Democrat Alliance. Democratic Alliance, um, and say uh, uh, let me let me tell you what I know about a little bit about this thing. The uh, the the uh, uh, African National Congress. They used to have the I don't know if they still do. They have this uh, the uh, here's the, uh, the the youth league. They have the women's league, which you don't hear much about. But they have the youth league, and Julius Malema, for instance, came up through that that youth league. They kicked him out. And well, the rest is history, right? He started his little EFF like that. But the thing about it is that what people used to do is they would catch the people in the youth league, make friends with them. That's how the has got in there. Make friends with them. Then later on, when they send the things to power, because somebody's in the youth league, they're in the power, then and more than likely they'll be the future leaders of the of the of the party. And so, and so, uh, so I said, "Why this? Because this is my friend, Mr. Google. I've known him for you know." Uh, 10 years. I met him when I was used. Uh, so, so that's, you know, because you do things for friends. Now check this out. When I was at the uh, University of Fort here, you know, they have, we have elections, you know, uh, uh, for student government, student. right? And one year, the, the Democratic Alliance made a, made an impact, right? So on, on campus, like we have the, uh, the ANC, whatever thing, you had the DA, you had EFF, uh, you had uh, 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 yeah, well, your PAC, right? PAC, that, that's Megalisa uh, 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 Robert Sabukwe's party. And let me say how stupid people are. I wanted, because you know, I'm into Sabukwe, and I, I, I wanted from, from, from PAC, uh, Pan African, whatever, the, the Pan, whatever, Congress. Uh, I wanted a t shirt, and they said they couldn't give me a t shirt. I said, no, I'm just going to buy a t shirt. No, no, you have to be a part of the thing. Don't you know? Never mind. Let me, let me leave them alone. So, so anyway, they had the thing. One year, the DA made an report, and so it became a big thing. So the DA started 
try to send some people down. So in, in election time, one time, it was interesting. It was outside of the gym. Outside of the gym, you had a group of EFF young people, EFF, right? You had a group of A and C, right? Then you had a group of DA, but off a little bit off to the side, you had a, a more DA, but these were all white people. So you can see the, the visuals. Yeah, yeah, because you know the A and C didn't have no A and C older people coming to. It's like they sent. The DA, old, old white people, yeah, they yeah. to to guide them or whatever it is. And I, I saw, I saw, I, I, I saw this visual, and I was like, "Oh, this is interesting." So the colonizers still, you know, they, 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 they go, oh, I say this is interesting. So I let that go. This was years ago. This was, this is, uh, I don't know, five years, whenever year when I was that, whatever that, that thing. Well, this election cycle. The DA makes a show of it. The ANC uh, makes a show of it, and they and, they, and the ANC now has to, has to invite parties to, 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 to make a coalition government. Let's put it that way. And they invited the DA for this coalition government. And I'm going like, whoa, this is not good. Stop. You know, I jump back. Well, let me go back to the student days, right? Because they was burning down, and there's this whole thing of Fort Hare and stuff like that. And, and, and I was, I was said to, to an A&C guy one time, I said, well, this is not going to lead you any place. What's I said, what's your plan for that? And he said, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. That's how, that's how they think. Right? The EFF, I had to be for that BF. I was thinking EFF. I said, EFF, it's economic freedom fighters. But what's your economic program? Because that's your first thing. You know, I understand your freedom. You're, you're fighting. But what's your economic program? Well, we're, you know, we're Marxists. We're going to do the Marxists. I'm going like, what if these people ever read Marx? You know what I mean? That was a de that was a degenerate degenerate guy, and like the class struggle. And stuff. I'm going like, well, at least please somebody read Cedric Robinson. Somebody read Black Marxism. You you you, you you're gonna bring up you know uh, Marx and Engels. Tell me about Cedric. What what does Cedric Rock? Anyway, we we'll won't get into that. That's a whole other thing. So what what, what am I saying? I'm pointing out that the DA for me they're what what I call the demon seed because. When you you uh, talking to somebody right now, you all stay right there. So you do realize that you didn't you didn't win nothing. You were in diddly. You know what I mean? You, your struggle. Oh, the, the struggle. I'm gonna the, 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 the struggle. Hear me much. Hear me my struggle condenser. Oh, well, brother, how come you talking about uh, the struggle? I can tell you something. But I have struggle credentials too. I got this. I was supposed to show this to, 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 to the people. See this here? What does it say there? What, what does it say there? must die. You see that? Apartheid must die. It was 1985. 19, this is a picture from, that appeared in the magazine, everybody's magazine, in 1985. Oh, the, the cat's, the cat, sunglasses, got a, got a, got a little thing, and he's holding this sign because I was, he was protesting. Wait a second, that guy looks pretty familiar. Who is that guy? Who could that possibly be? You. 1985. So I got more struggle credentials than all these people with the AK... Because I helped out with the with the thing of apartheid, so that's how I can speak. Okay, I have every right to speak. Okay, because I'm a comrade. Not I'm a comrade. I'm a veteran too. That's what I speak to the MK people. Because I'm also a veteran. I don't have my thing right there. Yeah, that's United States Air Force, 1970, 1974. I got I got my separation papers. I got some, some, oh I got it in here, so I can prove. I think this is the. Uh, oh, I got receipts. Let's put it that way. That's how we talk back then. I got receipts. So I'm a veteran of the United States uh, uh, Air Force, United States military, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I got struggle credentials because, you know, I'm a veteran of the struggle for to end the apartheid. But since it's, it's the struggles, I look to continue with it. The struggle continues because you never won. If you won, you would have got rid of all that stuff. If you'd have won, you would have in, in employed, I'm not going to mention your names because then I'll be in trouble. The point really is, is that the British got the banking, the Boers got the land, and they gave you the politics and the singing and dancing. <laughs> and it was an armistice. It's a ceasefire. So when this thing happened, then 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 Mr. Foley, uh, last night he sent me something, and I want you to to, to, to read what's just a little bit that read, read what it says. Here's what he sent me, and I and I, and I had warned him about this when the when. When they, when, uh, when they make this coalition government yeah. with, with, with the Democrats. So what does it say? 
It was in South Africa. South Africa. South Africa. Government cuts South African visa red tape. Okay, so the government is the government now. This new coalition government is cutting the red tape that give you visas for South yeah. Africa. Yes. A new point based system for work visa in South Africa will. Okay, go it's a new on. point based system. It's a new system for work visas. Okay. It will go a long way in addressing the bureaucrat hurdles. Okay, they want to cut red tape. Yeah. Maybe you've heard that before. Okay, so what are they saying? This, according to the XP Web, Managing Director Marisa Jacob, who said this reform... Well, who, who, who's, who said that? So, Marisa Jacobs. Who is she? The director. The director, director of the Zep, Zept Web. Okay, well, it's something. Yeah. Okay, keep, yeah. keep going. What else happened? Yeah. Will South Africa follow in footsteps of the countries like Canada and Australia? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Will South Africa follow the, first, for the footsteps of like Canada, Australia? Uh, Australia. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. you know. yeah. Jacob added this reform will also position South Africa as a serious content. Okay, so, so they're reforming because they want to get the work visa, but then they, they, they're going to position South Africa mm -hmm. as, as... Yeah. So, uh, attract... Uh, Attracting global skills necessary for ah, you're going to attract global skills. The whole world. Mm -hmm. We're going to cut red tape so the whole world mm -hmm. can get an easy work visa mm -hmm. in South Africa. Okay, what else to say? Okay. On the 9th October this year, this South Africa introduced the third amendment of this immigration regulation. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's going through the thing. Modernizing okay. the system and attract global profession professionals. Global professionals, okay, keep going. Mm -hmm. These reforms include introducing new points-based system to South Africa work visa processes. Okay, yeah, 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 we did that, right? Uh, this system will be able uh, uh, that's it. This will not only make it easier for South Africa to select in the best possible applicants. The best applicants from yeah. around the world, yeah, mm -hmm. go ahead. But also simplify the process of the prospective applicants. Okay. Jacob explained the system will allow the foreign professionals to evaluate their chances of Okay. Of successful applicants could help. Here's, here's how we're attracting. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. The BPS will help pro prospective applicants understand how their qualifications work. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, uh, let's go. This South African is a compelling inter alternative global professional who might otherwise consider an unemployed in UK, Europe, Canada, U UK. Australia, if we're next. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. To go back, what, this, this would, what would happen? This, this presents South this Africa as a compelling alternative. Okay. It, 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 this, cutting this red tape, it, it means that South Africa will attract some, some, um, some oh, you know, business and it would cut red tape. But what, what, what would it do? What was that last? Okay. Might otherwise consider unemployed employ, in Europe. Okay, so these people they want to, uh, they have a choice. They, they can be will, will work in Europe, mm -hmm. or, they, or they can come to South Africa mm -hmm. and get their, their expertise mm -hmm. to South Africans. Keep mm -hmm. going. The Department of Home Affairs said cutting urge visa reforms form part of the government of national unity. Yeah. Of GNU collective may mandate to overhaul the visa regime to the to attract skills. No, there was something before that you was mentioning in those countries that that they yeah, there is, there is, because this no, you just, you just, oh, oh, this is the one that is saying the regulation changes align closely within the countries. Uh, oh, this presents, oh, this is, this presents South Africa as a compelling alternative for global professionals who might over a DA, or I like to call it the DMC. So the ANC or whoever's putting this government has allowed the DMC. If we look at see now the DMC is going to start germinating, or, or the demon weed, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. and start pulling in others of their stripe. Because you could just well ask, well, you mentioned UK and Canada no, and, and whatever, but why, 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 what about, you know, what about, I don't know, Congo? What about Angola, Brazil? Zimbabwe. What, what about, what, what, Zimbabwe? What about, what about, what, you see what, what, what about Morocco? I would go Morocco or Senegal. The, the, India, the, the, the Sahels, you know what I mean? They didn't say nothing about them because the people in charge now are gentrifiers. That's what I was going to tell the MK people. And then I was going to tell them further. I said, and 
Now here's where it gets dicey. And now I suggest you all hold your ears now because it's going to get dicey. I insist that people not only do they have fear, but also people, I want to say, they're cowards. cowards. You don't want to fight. You don't want to continue to fight. You don't want to tear the system down, tear it up. Remember, what, how, do, how do we get in this situation? Mm -hmm. Some Europeans come in, some colonizers come in, they look around and they make a declaration. This is ours. This is ours. It's a declaration. They said it. They, 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 and then they, they, and they said, what are you talking about? And then they write the declaration down. This is what this, I know declaration means this. And they write it down and they hand it to some people that are supposed to have been in charge. You know, uh, I got this from self logic. I don't know. So, okay. In charge, and they say, now you have to sign this. You have to sign our declaration saying that this land is ours. You have to sign a piece of paper. That, that's just based on what? Based on what some folks said. My question is this. You freedom fighters, you, uh, I, I, you str I, str I was in the struggle. I was in the struggle too. In the struggle, you're going like, yeah, and then you react to them. Yeah, and then what happens? And uh, who, who brought this up? Oh, Bishop, uh, Bishop Joshua Bishop. brought this up. I saw his, his video on his. So they come in, and then you say, oh, now I can become the minister of this and the minister of that. And so you basically, when you're the minister of something that they set up, it's the minister, by definition, it's the, ministry, it's the ministry of something that they set up. So instead of you saying, oh, for instance, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. The current president of South Africa is this cat, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa. Now, he... We first met him because he's supposed to be an organizer of the mind. He wasn't a minor, but he was organizing the miners, right? Mm -hmm. We next see him, when Mediva gets out there, he's holding a microphone for Mediva. He's part of the ANC. The next thing we see him, uh, oh he God. now, they, 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 they go, the, the, they make this deal with the, with, with the Boers and with the, you know, with, with, the, with the Afrikaners and with the, and with the English. And they say, you know, we're, we're going to make this a, a, a counselless country. They, 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 they said, sent... Uh, uh, Trevor Emanuel to, 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 to the States and, and learned from Citibank how to be a banker. Uh, they, uh, they put uh, people in, 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 in all these people in the struggle who they struggle. They, they put in positions, comrades. They, the, the comrades, they, they get a position, you know, and now I'm going to become an minister. But you, you, I thought you was a comrade. I thought you could feel strip AK-47. You could feel strip, that's fine. But can you run a government? Now, for those people who, those are people who read, there's a guy, a guy named Lucy Corsi, he passed, whatever. He wrote this book, when I first came to I wrote this book, for Underground People. It's about this guy who was an administrator, and for circumstances, he had to go into the bush, he had to fight. So he had, and it's quite fascinating, because the mind of an administrator is different than the mind of a fighter. But what Bishop, uh, the Bishop of Joshua was saying is basically, like, well, when you become in power, well, then why do you take their thing and refine their thing for what purpose? Don't make no sense. We say, we say, I mean, you hear him the house of, that's probably his, he's more radical than I am. We say, whatever that paper was, since they wrote down, it goes back to paper, tear it up. Tear that paper up and create your own thing. You, well, how are we going to tear it up? Because we, these are contracts. Where, well, that's the whole point. Did, I thought we were renaming ourselves. Mm -hmm. I thought South Africa was only a temporary thing became from the Union of South Africa, the USA, Union of South Africa, became the Republic, RSA, Republic of South Africa. Wait a second. Well, I, 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 I got to talk about back to my, my, uh, I have to go back to my, 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 my black folks, my American Africans, my, yeah. my, my, uh, you know, my people in the States right there. Do you remember what Prince did when he wanted out of his contract? What did he do? He wrote on his thing, slave, on his thing, right? Slave, but what he also did, he changed his name to to a symbol. But us, us Prince people, some, some of us Prince people, well, let, me, let me just speak for the boys and uh, the, the boys and girls of the New Boogie group. We call, we, we, we can pronounce that symbol. It's pronounced, ah, uh ah. -huh, uh -huh. that's, that's how you pronounce it, ah. Uh -huh. Well, how are you gonna write? Anyway, but we did that because now the, whatever Prince wrote doesn't apply to what ah uh -huh was doing. You, you get it? So if you really wanted, if you were serious about changing your little the names like that, uh, uh, Alice instead of Alice being Alice, go back to Ed or whatever it is, then what you would do is you would change the name of South Africa, for instance, I'm just going to say it, to, to Azania. Then whatever deal that the Union of South Africa put in place, 
whatever uh, uh, thing that, that the Republicans have in place, well, Azania is a new situation. Now you create your situation according to your image, according to your communalism. That's right. You're not socialist. You're not communist. You're not capitalist. You're communalist. That is the essence of being African. Is anybody following me on this? The essence of being African is your community. I saw this. In, in, I'm going to Cape Town later on today. I saw this demonstrated uh, uh, in a train in Cape Town when I was living in there. It was at, at, at the, the people were going home for work and, and all, all the, the women and stuff going on. And, and somebody had some bread. I got this from my madame. They want you, you need this. Want you. They were just exchanging stuff that they have. It's like, this, it's like the barter system, I suppose. Yeah. But what you, but what you do is right right now our next our, our farmer next door he well, he's got cabbage he's got what was he got the spinach, spinach got beetroot, beetroot got, um, garlic garlic got onion he, he's got onion he got stuff we're growing here we got beetroot we got berries we got, we're gonna get cucumber we got we got pears we pears got we apple trees like so apples. so so if I want a head of so we're not growing cabbage well if we wanted cabbage we just say Hey man, we got some. We both got beetroot, so we'll, 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 we'll give them some. We'll, yeah, we'll give them some some strawberries for for, for, for cabbage. You mean. see, and that's how you can do. It's another system. I'm not saying to do that system, but at least okay. you're not doing their yeah, system do. because of, again, the logical end of uh, capitalism not only is it fascism because then because the corporations take over. When you have the corporations taking over, that's fascism. Just in case you all need to know that, right? So the problem is everybody wants to be, everybody wants to be the winner. Everybody wants to be Sir Ramaphosa because remember he had a choice. So when he became the uh, the head of all the McDonald's, he, because how does it work? You got the shareholders, then you got the administration, then you got the workers. But they they do everything for the shareholders to give them more money. Mm -hmm. The workers get nothing. Well, you can say, hey, the money that or the, the the wealth that we make, we're going to take we're going to take away from the shareholders. You're just going to get less. And we're going to get less, and we're going to give that stuff to the to the workers. So instead of paying you, I'm just going to say it in rand. I said it. I'll say it in rand. Instead of giving you five rand an hour, we're going to pay you fifty rand an hour. Da -da! It's a system. Why can't that system work? Huh? Because when it's all said and done, all they want they they they, they want your land. It's a, everything is a land grab because if you get the land, what's under the land? The minerals, the resources. Belongs to them. So, so, so that's what I'm trying to say. They need to learn, learn from Abraham. <laughs> they need to learn from oh, him. all of the African oh, countries. Man. They need to learn from him. The, our, our co commander Abraham. What they doing is the Sahels the, oh. uh, up there. Those three countries. Well, it's going to be. Uh, I guess Senegal is joined in. There's going to be other countries joined in. I'm not even talking about bricks. I don't know what they doing with bricks. I'm saying something else. And that's, oh, I'm sorry, what that? Mm. The reason why I want to talk to MK people, because those are the, vet, well, the veterans, they, that's, that, that's who, who suggest they want to talk to me. They don't really want to talk to me. Anyway, just like my American accent. I would tell them, you know, look at you. All these people, you dread, not you, but you, 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 but you, you, politics, they all set up in suits. Oh, but the EFF, they got the red, they, 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 they're supposed to be with the workers. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, Zuma, not Zuma. Well, Zuma, Zuma's babies, Zuma's spawn, Zuma. wearing Gucci shoes. How are you gonna be working? Do I do I do I have Gucci shoes on? These are South African shoes. Do I have Gucci? Don't you have my laces? No. If you down with the people, you need to be down with the people. You need to do the Chris Honey thing. You know what I mean? If you ain't Chris Honey, if you ain't the fabric of Chris Honey or Magalisa Robert Sabuque, I don't want to hear it. But Madiwa, no, Madiwa, okay, he didn't wear a suit. But I think he got a Gucci shirt on though. Got a, it's a designer shirt. Was it the, the point is the Chinese color shirt? The, no, no, no. He did. It was a, uh, whatever it was. My point is this: what, 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 what Commander Ibrahim is doing? They're using their own fabric. Da, 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 what are you doing? I suggest all the time we have this thing called initiation. And initiation, when they come out, the boys get that that they, they, they get a jacket. And they get a hat, mm -hmm. you know, and they buy it from the colonizer. What? All these mamas that can sew, why can't you get that hat from the mom? Why Stop can't you, at least, uh, I don't get it. 
we we got a loom. We got looms here in in, in Dombasa. We we got where you can make fabric. You know, you know. So I better stop here. I I waxed on long enough. So my my prediction is uh, Trump is going to win because uh, black people are going over and, and doing that thing. Trump is going to uh, Kamala Harris is M MK Ultra do whatever it is. Her her, her and Barack Obama they can go off into the sunset. But people they don't want all that stuff. And, and uh, we don't need no more wars because that's how they get the land. They make a war, and you take land. They conflict, forget war, conflict. They love conflict, and and, and then then. Okay, that's it. That's my, that's, that's my cameraman. Talk to you all later.